In these problems, we're doing some calculations to determine what is some fraction of a number, or if you compare one number to another number, what fraction does that represent? And they can be a little bit confusing. I want to show you a method that's going to work to solve all of them using algebra. This first one says, what is one-fourth of 24? And you might think to yourself, oh, that's easy. I know what one-fourth of 24 is. We're just dividing 24 by 4, so that's going to be 6. You've got this figured out in your head. Great. I want to show you the algebra method because it will work even when the problems get more complex. You should look for a phrase that has what in it, and that's usually going to be the variable x. It might say what number, what fraction, or just plain what, like this one says. The is in the, equation, in the uh, problem is usually going to be the equal sign in the equation. And then the other important thing is that of is going to be multiplication. So in this problem, we have, have what is one-fourth of, multiply, 24. And you can see one-fourth times 24, you could try it on your calculator, it's the same thing as dividing 24 by 4, it's what we thought it was, it's 6. Let's try another one with this method. This one might be a little harder to wrap your head around, but the method will work. What fraction of 96 is 44? First we have our what phrase, what fraction. So we're just going to call that x. Of is multiplication. So we're going to multiply of 96, multiply 96. Is is our equal sign, so we put the equal sign in there, and then 44. Now we've got this in a form that we can use algebra to solve easily, although usually instead of writing x times 96, we would write 96x. It's the same thing. To solve for x, we would simply divide by 96, and then you might, these 96's cancel, of course. x equals 44, 96, although it's clear you can take, um, looks like you can take a 4 out of each of those, and I think that comes out to 11 24ths and we can't reduce that anymore. Yep, that's 11 24ths. All right, let's try one more. This one says one and a half of what number is 19. Might be confusing the way it's worded. Let's just plug it in. Of means multiply. What number is our x? Is is equal sign. So one and one half times x is 19. Now sometimes uh, it's a little difficult to solve for x when you have a mixed number here, so you might want to, well, you could put it um, in decimals, but they're using fractions to start with, so usually the answer they'll want as a fraction or a mixed number too, so I'm going to keep it in fractions. I'm going to convert this one and a half to three halves. I did that one times two is, is two plus one is three halves. So three halves x equals 19. And then when I have a fraction in front of my x here, uh, what I usually do is a two-step process. I multiply both sides by whatever's on the bottom, and then I divide by what's on the top. So let's start by multiplying both sides by 2. So we get <clears throat> 3x, these 2's cancel, so we get 3x equals, and that is 38. And then we have x, uh, we're going to divide by 3 here, both sides, to get the x alone. So we would have x equals 38 over 3, which is obviously a mixed number, and let's see, I think that comes out to 12 and 2 thirds. You might want to double check my work on that, figure out how many th threes there are in 38 and how many you'd have left over. I think it's 12 and 2 thirds. So that is a, a pretty foolproof method to use algebra to solve these fraction of a number problems.